Hello and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to talk about the pressure law. Pressure law is when everything in a situation with gases is constant apart from the pressure and the temperature. And I know that in the pressure law that pressure is directly proportional to temperature. Okay, so pressure equals a constant times the temperature. Now, in my previous video about Charles's law, I talked about a problem with degree C. And it's exactly the same problem here, okay? That if I have it in degree C, this is what happens here. You end up with a graph that ends up here at minus 270 degrees C. But if I was to plot it with Kelvin, I would have this directionally proportional line here. And this means that if I'm going to use this formula here, which is a directly proportional straight line graph, because there's no intercept, the temperature must be in Kelvin. So I may have a pressure of 100 kilopascals at a temperature of 20 degrees C. I want to know my new pressure at 35 degrees C. What's my pressure at 35 degrees C? So, the first thing you have to do is you must convert all of your temperatures into Kelvin. So this here is 293 Kelvin, and this here is going to be 30 plus 273, which is going to be uh, 300 and... It's 20 plus another 15, 98, 308 Kelvin there. Okay. So 308 Kelvin. So using the directly proportional formula now, I've got them in Kelvin. I have 100 equals 293 times by a constant. That constant equals, oh, I like 100 kilopascal, so 100 times 10 to the 3. So 100 times 10 to the 3 divided by 293. My constant is 341.3. This is the same constant that's in my next formula. So I know something equals this constant times by my new temperature, which is 308. So my new pressure is approximately 105 kilopascals there. So this there is the pressure law. Now this formula is not on your data sheet, but there is one just like it, which is pressure volume is NRT, or pressure volume is NKT. Now, if I was to rearrange this, I would have pressure equals NR over the volume times temperature, or pressure equals NK over the volume times temperature. So as long as the number of stuff, the material ends up the same, and the volume stays the same, the temperature goes up. You see this in pressure cookers. If you heat up a pressure cooker, it's sealed. The volume stays the same, nothing escapes. The pressure increases, and that's what cooks your food. So that there is the pressure law. And that is the third of the, th uh, the, third of the three, so you've got the... Boyle's law, Charles's law, and the pressure law here. In my next videos, I'm going to talk about combining these when we have lots of things changing at once.